Today, we're perched on the top of a sunny hill in Cornwall to ride an amazing set of trails. This is Old Hill Bike Park. Old Hill is a small and friendly bike park just outside Bodmin. Rest assured that for what this rugged park lacks in size, it more than makes up for in the quality of its trails. And what I mean by that is, this place rocks. There's a red, a blue and a black trail here, and they all start from the rolling at the top of the field. After winding their separate ways down the hill, they all end in the woods at the bottom. From there, there's a dedicated push-up trail that skirts the side of the hill. It's pretty short as push-up trails go, which is good, and it's easily rideable if you want. The trail I'm on today is called the Bodmin Beast. This is a blue flow trail chocked full of great features. There are plenty of small jumps, rollers, and a happy sprinkling of tight burned corners. So let's drop in and see what it's all about. From the moment you roll down the ramp, this trail feels non-stop. Rollers and sweeping corners help you pick up speed fast and take you straight into a small tabletop. I was surprised to see how smooth the trail felt. It's clear to see that a lot of planning went into creating the Bodmin Beast and it flows really well. Oh yeah. This is super flowy, this is lovely. One of my favourite features on this blue trail is a set of fast switchbacks. Agility is key in this section as you have to be light on your feet to maximise your speed through the corners. Once you're through, you head under the bridge and onto the lower part of the course. You have a couple of line choices to make here. You can either take the right and head for a little jump, or take the left line and head down a number of small drops. All the features on this trail are completely rollable, so you don't need to know how to jump to enjoy it. Taking the longer S bend set of berms, you head towards the faster section of trail. Keep tight corners. Super flowy. This last part of the trail is pretty quick, so it's best to keep your wits about you as you head towards the trees. Get to the woods. Off the path. One last corner and across the finish line and onto the path at the bottom. I was expecting that. There we go. So how does this trail stack up? It's fair to say that this trail is a lot of fun. Some blue trails are good as a warm-up, but lose their fun factor after that. This trail doesn't feel like one of those. Because you're constantly moving your bike along the track, it flows really nicely and keeps your excitement. Different to a blue trail that you might find at a forest, a bike park blue will be more of a flow trail. This will have more fun obstacles designed to maximise your enjoyment and help your riding progress. Even as an experienced rider, there are also things you can learn on a trail like this, especially if you want to ride it a little bit faster. As well as this trail, Old Hill Bike Park is home to a number of other features and challenges to play on. Some of which you'll see me tackle in a future video where I ride the red line here and attempt to hit some of the bigger tabletops for the first time. Stay tuned over the coming weeks to see how that turns out. So on that note, have a great ride and I'll see you next time.